Hello, and welcome to The Catch, Redcar's fishing story past and present. I'm Carmen Marcus, author, poet, fisherman's daughter, and Redcar lass. In this podcast, the fishermen tell the story of their boats, the cobbles. You'll discover what makes the cobble special, how they handle in the water, and the perils they faced. Well, we've done nothing but think about boats since, uh, you know, I was the eye to a grasshopper. I reckon that the amble cobble are like Kerrygoon Bay horses. I mean, you could go into a horse race and there's a fair chance if it's a good one, uh, it, it's going to win. Uh, a clean good day, or you can put it in a coal cart, you can pull that as well. You know, a, a clean good day. Uh, and uh, that's what uh, an amble one is. Uh, a Whitney cobble is a shire ross. Yeah, you know, when you, when you see it running in on that great run between the pace, you know, when you, uh, you need that great big shoulder of it. Uh, otherwise, it drive under. Man, you always feel steadier. In an amble come a I think. You know, I've had uh, a bit of money. Anyway, uh, I, you can tell the difference. And you can open them up, and they lift their head up, and they go through anything, an uh, amble cover. Mm-hmm. Where, where with a, a whippy cover, you've got to wiggle them back a bit. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you've got to get it over the belt. <laughs> Uh, I, I ended up work, I work in the summers uh, there. I must have worked oh, five years uh, summer, summer school holidays, mm-hmm. uh, keeping boats straight. And you learn about the shape of boats uh, that way because some boats you got ringing wet all the time, all day, mm-hmm. and there would be a way of breaking up. And, uh, and others, uh, they didn't wet you, you know, the, the water went somewhere else, so you reckon that was a good shape boat. Yeah. When I first started with Thompson's, they had one called Miss England, uh, Miss Redke, and the ladies at them. I don't know whose Miss England was, but the uh, Jackie Thompson, uh, Miss Redke, that was his boat. Mm-hmm. Ladies up and it was Jimmy Thompson's boat. And then uh, they got another one called the Miss Oxley, which nobody liked. Uh, and it was anybody, so nobody claimed that. <laughs> uh, and as soon as the sea got rough, they pulled that one out. And then they got the June Rose. Miss Oxley went to States, uh, didn't it? Yes. Miss Oxley, uh, uh, yes. Harrison got it at States, didn't he? I know there was myself, poor Jim, the little Trevor Wilberforce, <laughs> and Walter Burfield when we left here. So we took two, two, two gallon drums of petrol. We just got about Port Mulgrave, and I says, I think we better shove some petrol in. So Trevor went for it, you know, a petrol tank was right up for it, wasn't it? Puts two gallon in, next thing it, engine stopped. So, because the boat, she'd been laid that long, it must have shook all the crap up in the bottom of the tank. <laughs> but, well, our gym was swinging it and swinging it. He ended up with a blister right across his hand. So, I said, let let me have a look at it. Anyway, I dropped the carburetors off Aye. and were full. So I cleaned the carbs off. Some of my father had showed me, you know. So. Mm. And by this time, I, I, I it was taking to, but well, well, that's, let me get it right. In the beginning, he said, put the oars on, we'll row up from me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? He said, you know, <clears throat> I could see. It was kind of a bit of tide on it. I think we managed to grab all of the creel end, pot end, and we hung on there, and there was a cobble, Port Mulgrave cobble, and he waved, and he come to us. He said, tack us a Whitby. Can you tack us a Whitby, son? He said, <laughs> you know what he was like? Yeah. And uh, anyway, I get his engine going, but at first, he, 
I put the oars on me and Sarah, we just went like that and fell to bits. <laughs> all the bars on the oars, they just come off. Oh, it was all hot. And he gets his cobble, and this cobble started to tower us. Anyway, I got the engine good. So I said, she's fine. So I steamed up, picked the. Uh, I think old Jim went for it and picked the tower over up, and I run alongside this cobble. He said, Follow us to Whitby. And he, he gave him a handful of money. I don't know what he gave him, he just said, Here, I don't want no, follow us to Whitby. Anyway, we beat this cobble <laughs> to, to Whitby, and he went back, yeah. And then uh, Walter Murphy met us on the key, and they ended up in the pub, and Nelly was pulling her hair out saying, Get in this car. <laughs> <laughs> and they were all in the pub. Thank you for listening to Thinking About Boats. If you enjoyed hearing about the cobbles, listen to Daisy Ellen, a family boat next, all about how the Daisy Ellen, a Whitby cobble named after my granny, was made for the Thompson family and how she was no end of trouble until she was christened. This episode was recorded at the Redcar Palace and you heard the voices of Jack Kenyon, Dave Philipson, Barry Preston, Ray Preston, Rodney Thompson, Tony Young and Paul White all men who fished Red Car's coast. This series of podcasts was created as part of the Catch Red Car to celebrate the story of a fishing town through image and sound. The project is a collaboration between me, Carmen Marcus, and Kev Howard, photographer, created on behalf of the Red Car Palace and supported by Arts Council Cultural Recovery Fund.